Did I make it too big? Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. This old thing? Oh, it's actually a new thing that I made. Crocheted by myself in four days. But enough. But enough about that. You clicked on this video because you wanted to see what I was making today. And if you guessed correct on my last video, congratulations. But no one guessed which version of her I was gonna make, which is 1980s strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw her and I was like, mm, I really want that hat. Because guess what? I made someone else's hat, eh? Eh? So I was looking at her hat and I was like, yeah, yeah. That's fun. That's fun. And then I was looking at everything on her, and I was like, hmm. I kind of want to make her outfit, too. So, here I am, about to make the whole outfit. It's gonna be fun, plants. Okay, I had an epiphany yesterday, and I was like, how the heck am I gonna pattern her hat? And then I was like, oh, a chef's hat. A duh. Because I was like, I want it to be like, big and like spilling over like hers is but I was like I don't know how to do that unless stuffing it but then it wouldn't fit on my head a chef's hat duh so that's what I'm gonna do for the hat for the dress and the apron I have a pattern that I followed from the closet historian uh it's just like a blouse pattern I used it to make my aerial blouse and just a normal white blouse. That's what I'm gonna use for both. And I'm just gonna make it smaller and crop it a bit so it's like strawberries. And that'll be very cute. So the skirts are just gonna be normal circle skirts. <laughs> and the ruffles, I, ha I don't know. I have, a, I have an apron pattern, so, and that had ruffles, so I might just use that for the general shape. Oh, and the hat. How rude. For the hat, I don't have strawberry fabric. So my psychotic brain decided to, oh, I don't know, cut out a bunch of strawberries while the sun decided to come out. Why? So my psychotic brain decided to cut out a bunch of strawberries in the fabric that I was going to make the hat in and sew them all to the hat before we gather it and make it into the hat shape. I know there's probably easier ways. I know I could get, I know I could do a lot of stuff differently, but that's what my brain has come up with. And so that's what we're gonna do. I think that's it. Let's get started. is gonna be so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready, oh my god. Wait, was I gonna do a full circle? Yes, I was. I absolutely was. How do you do full circles? Like this. Skirt? Not a skirt. Now that I have all the tiny leaves and the strawberries cut out and extras in case I need to fill space. It's time to spend forever and ever hand sewing seeds onto the strawberries and sewing the leaves onto the strawberries. And it's three per strawberry. So it'll be like, be like this 
for every strawberry. Do not pay attention to the paint on my carpet. Like this for every strawberry and I'm probably gonna use embroidery thread so that I won't use like tiny thread. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I finished sewing all of the tiny strawberries. Some are prettier than others, but that's okay. So now we are going to do the most tedious part of making this costume and sew them all to the hat. So at first, I started sewing them on, you know, with a regular zigzag stitch and realized it would take forever. And then my mom walked into my room and talked some sense into me. And that's when I started hot gluing them all on. This is a shower cap. I'm to put it into the headband. I might have made it too big. Um, it won't stick up like hers does. So I definitely have to stuff it. I don't know how I'll keep the stuffing up there. Maybe make like a tinier circle and put it on the inside so it doesn't come out. But I clipped the band. To see how it will and it will like I clip the band in oh I hope you can see and then I will just do like that with a snap hopefully that works dang you can't even see. <laughs> I think I put a bit too much stuffing in it <laughs> I figured out a fix it's a little smaller now and the fix is to make the biggest dart known to man. I clipped it here and um, I'll do a few tacks and that will make it smaller, hopefully. <laughs> it just looks like a shower cap. Hopefully it will look better with the this, the brim. I'm gonna finish this for, oh gosh. I'm gonna finish or stop this for tonight and then tomorrow I'll start on the outfit. After making the hat i started making the shirt and you may be wondering why i'm not going to that footage and that is because i have done let's take you on a journey of what i was going through while i was making this shirt okay so first i started making the shirt out of the same fabric i cut with the skirt you know it was going well i was cutting it out i put it together and it was too small because i was trying to do something different and i shouldn't have so i was like great so i'll have to make this again okay and so i made it again with different fabric that i had to buy at walmart because i had no more of the other red fabric at least it was on sale okay so with the new red fabric I did the same thing I cut it out normally you know except I didn't put it together normally and because I was gonna have it buttoned up in the front you know because I thought that was gonna be cute it didn't fit it was too small I don't know what I was doing but it wasn't working and so I did what every mentally stable person did and I threw it around stick this <laughs> That felt better. <laughs> After my little temper tantrum, I went to option two and I decided to dye my white, my white shirt that I made that I love. And it didn't work. It's different colors because apparently it didn't 
dye even because I use different sides of the white fabric. Have you ever heard of that before? It didn't work. I apparently used different sides of the white fabric. So the inside of the shirt was like the red color and then the outside was like a light color. It was very strange, but it doesn't matter anyway because it turned pink. So what did I do next? I threw it around. I went to option number three, and that was to dye some white fabric red. Do you think it worked? It didn't because it also turned pink. I, I don't know. I don't know. So I was over it. I was getting flashbacks to making Anastasia's bodice. The and if bodice this doesn't work, just fit I'm just weirdly gonna have to make on a new bodice. Me. Like what is? And that? I hope I don't have to do what make a new bodice. That? So and I, I. I was, you know, freaking out. I hated it. So I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to find a t-shirt pattern offline and I found one for free on Mood and I downloaded that, put it together and it worked and I got it. I got it with the rest because I got two yards of the red satin from Walmart. It's not the best. It sounds like a grocery bag, but I got it. It was a journey and I didn't feel like filming it because flashbacks to Anastasia. Let's get back into filming and we can start on the apron. Wait, I didn't do the skirt. We can finish, oh yeah. And since it was giving me such a hard time, I was going to make the skirt and the shirt like one piece. No, I'm just going to do the skirt normal and then I'll have two pieces because I'm not messing up that shirt. I have to finish the skirt and then I'm going to start on the apron. I was not expecting this to take so long, but here we are. Here is the top of the apron sewn together. I'm gonna have to like make a big dart because it was way too wide up here. My bad. It's turning out okay. The straps are pinned on and I'm gonna have them cross in the back onto the waistband. And then we're gonna have the skirt part of the apron gathered like this. And with the ruffle, it's gonna go like, how is it gonna go like, like that? But it's gonna be gathered. That on the straps. And it's gonna look cute with the skirt. So here's my waistband. It doesn't go up. Let me step away from the door. It doesn't go all the way around because what I have observed is that her apron is closed by green ribbon. And coincidentally, I thrifted this ribbon a bit ago and it's like a good uh, thickness. So, and it's a good color. So we're gonna do that and it'll close with this. This is how it's looking. It's a little loose up here, but I guess that's okay. If I really wanted to change it, I could put like buttons right here and right here and button the straps so it's a bit tighter on top. I love it. It looks very cute. The skirt part is my favorite part. I might add buttons here just because it looks like a button placket the way I had to like take out some of the space from the middle. So I might do that. The last thing I have to do is add the decorative stuff, the diamond shapes and the red X's on the bottom. And I think that will be it. So I'll do that tomorrow and then it will be time for the reveal. I started out with marking X's on my fabric to put where the X's were gonna go but I quickly got bored of that so I just freehanded it the X's are definitely different sizes but I think it's okay it gives it a handmade feel the diamonds I also freehanded and I just stitched them on with embroidery thread just so they be on I did not machine or hand sew them on regularly so we'll see how those hold up and then after that it will be time for the reveal boys and girls moms and dads 
brothers and sisters, cats and dogs, welcome to the world of Strawberry Shortcake. Who sleeps all night in a cake made of strawberry, wakes up bright in a cake made of strawberry, living right in a cake made of strawberry. Wouldn't you know who sweeps her floors in a cake made of strawberry? Plays outdoors of a cake made of strawberry. Games and chores in a cake made of strawberry. Strawberry shortcake. Wouldn't you know it's love that makes her garden grow. With lots of pretty berries in a row. She greets each day with a berry glow. She's strawberry shortcake. Wouldn't you know what's it like to stay in a cake made of strawberry?